Well, week six of the USFL did not disappoint. Fortunately, um, this weekend did not go the way I wanted it to, so I was basically watching highlights for each and every game until this um, Houston, New Jersey game just finished up. I watched a fourth quarter and watched some highlights where I got back. Um, weekend did not go the way I wanted to, but that's okay. This weekend didn't go the way the USFL wanted it to either, in some ways. But in others, absolutely. It absolutely went the USFL's way. So, first things first, Tampa Bay, Philadelphia, a back and forth game. The Stars upset the Bandits, however, after Tampa Bay failed on a fourth down with no time remaining. Or rather, less than 30 seconds left to go. Matt Colbert with 144 yards, three TDs. Case Cook is with two TD passes to Buck Howard. And again, despite the fact that Jordan Tommy threw four touchdowns, 333 yards, it was not enough. Philadelphia with the upset victory over Tampa Bay, 35-28. Michigan, Birmingham. Now the Panthers, they kept up with the Stallions for the first three quarters of this game. And then Bo Scarborough. Yeah, I know. Former Alabama running back. Bo Scarborough ran for 106 yards to the touchdown, and then Alex McGo added another touchdown in the fourth quarter, and that just proved to be too much for the Panthers. You know, despite the fact that Shea Patterson did all right, 209 yards passing, a rushing touchdown, a passing touchdown. Also, he did throw a pick, and I mean, Jamar Smith played efficient, two TDs for him, and the thing that you know, kind of got this game, you know, kind of off track was a lightning delay. And that forced this game to eventually get put on CNBC because you don't want to interrupt SNL. Ooh, and again, I don't like SNL. Um, it's not funny. Uh, but I, I, I do find it funny that the USFL got kicked off of NBC, you know, just for SNL. But I mean, it is what it is. Shades of the Heidi game all over again. But. You know, Birmingham 6-0, what can you say? 33-17 there. Pittsburgh, New Orleans, this game was absolutely boring for the most part. Yeah, Pittsburgh scored a few TDs. They scored, like, what, two TDs late. But it was already over. It was, like, 23-3 after Ike Brown with a 97-yard pick six. Uh, the longest play in the USFL this season so far. The Breakers, they used the ground game to win this game. Jordan Ellis, Anthony Jones... Both of them had a rushing touchdown in this game. And, I mean, New Orleans looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. I, I like this New Orleans team a lot. Again, you know, they, they can they can, they can can do they can some, do some damage. Now, Pittsburgh, however, you know, they're going to have to get something. They're going to have to get something going soon. Um, you know, I would, I would really like for Pittsburgh to, you know, at least try a little bit more. Because, I mean, you know, you had the lucky victory last week, but... He's, Pittsburgh's back to me in Pittsburgh. Not not very good. And then Houston, New Jersey, this game just finished up. The, the Generals win this game, of course. Y you know why. Houston blew the lead again. I mean, they didn't even have the ball the third quarter. I mean, you have Clayton Thorson throwing for three TDs, but at the same time, at the same time, you have multiple, multiple mistakes, you know, by Houston, you know, you block a field goal, but then you fumble, and thus New Jersey got the ball back, and that's why New Jersey held the ball the entire third quarter. Then you have, you know, you have an interception, you have a missed PAT, you have a missed field goal, you have, you know, a fumble. You know, there's just just so much going wrong for the gamblers, and it's not even funny. I, I told y'all when I announced, you know, that I was going to be a Houston Gamblers fan. I, I knew, I knew, I knew it was for a reason. It's Kevin Sumlin. I knew. I told y'all Kevin Sumlin's not a good coach. I told y'all. I told y'all Kevin Sumlin is not a good coach. Y'all don't want to listen to me. Nobody wants to listen to, to Big Boy Sports on, you know, how much he hates Kevin Sumlin. You know, he's, he's not. He's not that good. He's been carried by Tala his entire career. <laughs> he has, honestly. And Luis Perez, you know, Leandre Johnson, I believe he got hurt in this game. So Luis Perez said, it's up to me. I'm going to win this game. And that's exactly what he did. He won this game on a last second TD. And, I mean, again, Houston blew another lead. You know, they were up 25-20. And, you know, they could not hold at all. They could not hold the lead at all. 
pretty sad. So, you know, now that we are in the second half of the season, you know, things are going to get a little bit crazier, you know, with the way things are going. You got you got a nice set of games next weekend. It's going to be real intriguing to see how everything goes for these four games next Saturday and Sunday. Um, I'll see you all again for USFL coverage Friday night. And, you know, we'll be we'll be back. You know, it's going to be a long Memorial Day weekend, let me tell you. Uh, you know, got to talk about the NBA Finals. Got to talk, you know, some more lacrosse. You know, got to talk a lot of indoor football, you know, for this week and next week. Uh, you know, add the delay to this week in indoor football episode till today. So coming up in about, I don't know, like an hour, maybe, you know, maybe less than an hour, honestly. Um, we'll be talking this week in indoor football, so stay, stick around, stay tuned. I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care, everybody.